the historic city of Durham and the skyline dominated by its medieval castle and cathedral. Here, the old and the new go hand in hand. And in the north of the city, in the shadows of the existing hospital, a new building is nearing completion. The new Durham General Hospital was one of the first hospitals to be commissioned under the government's private finance initiative and will be amongst the first to be completed under the scheme. The management skills of two companies have been harnessed for this complex development. The Balfour Hayden Joint Venture is a partnership between Balfour Beatty and Hayden Young. Both companies are providing the engineering and management skills for the construction of the building and finishes, with Balfour Beatty concentrating on the traditional building elements and Hayden Young supplying the M&D service expertise. What we're about to go through here, very few have gone through. None have gone through successfully to date. And we're hoping to be one of the first very successful PFI contracts. August 2000. The construction works on the new hospital are almost complete. Final pipes are being installed, and the service roads to the new building are well under construction. Here at Accident and Emergency, a specially designed glass canopy is being installed and all over site finishing touches to the exterior works are being applied. The focus for this job has now moved to inside the building. Phase 1A of Durham's new hospital has to be completed in the next 10 weeks. The joint venture have a deadline to meet. I think that there are many people that can quite proficiently go and build a building. I think the difference here is that it's the finishing off of the building that's the important factor. And here we have our first stage over 1,500 rooms, 25,000 square metres of space, and all that has to be finished to detail to the satisfaction of the client. It's one big process to take place now, and it's the one that really separates the men from the boys. We've got a team and a setup and uh, some systems here in place that are very, very effectual. We've spent the last two and a half years getting those established, and we're about to go and put those to the test had to really think about how we were actually going to go and finish the building off. The way we approached that one was to ask the staff how they would go and do it. The way the building's constructed lends itself to, to breaking it down to floor levels. And uh, the idea of that was that they would come up with the solutions in terms of how they would take ownership and break the building down into manageable units. We've got a basement, ground floor, first and second floor, and obviously the plant rooms above that. What they did, they produced a procedure called the zone completion process. By breaking the job down into separate areas, you're not spreading people too thin and they can concentrate on their own areas and they get very familiar with it. You sort of get a sense of competition going through the different area managers wanting theirs to, to run better than everybody else's and it always works quite well in a, in a nice sort of way really. Would you see that as a risk to us? No, I would say that trend should continue and we should pick it up over the next two weeks. The main driving force on a project like this has to be the commissioning. Within the first phase of this job, we have every service that you could imagine. 454 bedrooms. The medical gases. 650 mile of cabling. The main ventilation plant. 25 mile of ductwork. The theatres. 400 mile of pipework. It goes on and on. Rigorous tests of all these services are now taking place and the joint venture are using a number of specialist subcontractors under the supervision of their commissioning manager to ensure that every system and service is working as it should be. One down, one at four and four, thanks. What would request is feedback. The resolution of those items will do tonight. As commissioning works progress, more and more rooms are brought to a finished state. We're now going through the what we call the completion process. Um, which is really bringing us up to the snagging stage. Snagging checks have been implemented to ensure that every room in the first phase of the hospital meet the required specifications. Every room is being checked by the joint venture and then double checked by their client. Now you can't eliminate defects with a stroke of a wand, but certainly you can work at those defects very hard and bring the numbers down to a reasonable level. By using our preferred subcontractors, we get the building to a very high standard, so then when it goes to the client, there's very few snags come back to us. It needs a methodical mind to actually pick up these items and then have the enthusiasm to go back to ensure that they're completed. What about 47 and 48? 
Deputy Snaggin Bliss was issued and the tender to it was all completed. Pre-planning has been a key factor in minimising potential problems during the completion stage. And prior to construction, the joint venture built scale model sample units of key rooms to smooth the way towards completion. The advantage of what we've got here is that the client's been able to really work out their ideas in terms of what they really wanted to do. They've had some preconceptions of what they wanted to do. Here was a tangible way of going and doing it. And quite frankly, you're going and making the mistakes in an area that we can go and deal with and adjust and not have an effect on the job. Whilst we've built them four or five times, you know, what we've ended up with is the right solution at the end of the day. Everything's been tried and tested and we've made sure that we've got the finish and the fit exactly the way we want it. We know it works, we've got no surprises. You've got a fair gap there. You see the trend changing again, it's come up in the last week and it'll continue to do so. As handover approaches, the role of the design manager becomes pivotal to the completion process. Various issues have been raised by the client over the weekend and we need to resolve them. Quality obviously is very, very important to, to everybody. And in fact, when you get to this final stage, that's the real thing that you're looking at. You're looking at the quality of the product. And we've got a thousand rooms in this first phase. If there's one small item in every room that the client's not happy with, then you've got a very unhappy client. Completion means attention to detail, with both the aesthetic and the technical. The quality of the workmanship and the design effort that's gone in, I believe, is second to none. Client inspections are the final stage of the completion process. Because we have the confidence that various levels of inspections have already taken place and been dealt with, it gives us the pleasure of going round and picking up only minor items. The exciting aspect working with a joint venture from my position as a project director is to be able to sit down with them and solve practical problems. <laughs> now what we've tried to do here is that we've brought the client along with us all the way through the process and that's why it's been successful. We all share the burden and we all share the successes of it as well. When we reach the deadline, when we actually get there, I'm going to feel tired. <laughs> it will mean that all the heartache we've had, all the hard slog, all the late nights have been well worthwhile. This is what I enjoy doing, this is why I went into the industry. Anyone can walk into there and I'll be pleased to say I was associated with that job. It's something that uh, you aim for and in many ways when you actually get there you're looking for the next challenge and uh, I'm fairly fortunate because my next challenge is um, a couple of months away in the next handover. <laughs> <laughs>